Happy Friday, Jays. I'm Hannah Doherty. And I'm Holly Stansbury. Today we will have the BNB talk show and an update over the next president, Donald Trump, and a tribute to our veterans on this special day. All of that and so much more coming up next. This, this is, is KLHS. KLHS. Let's head over to Bennett and Brett with this week's episode of BNB Talk Show. Welcome to the BNB Talk Show with your host Bennett and Brett. Welcome back to the BNB Talk Show with your favorite co-host Bennett and Brett. Today we have a very special game for you with a dynamic duo against some people that aren't so good and they don't really know each other that well. Brett, let's introduce our candidates. All right, so we got. Colton Haynes and Drew Higgins. Everyone boo on boo. 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 You, suck. you guys can come up. Boo. And then Olivia is going to be the one asking us questions. All right, so how this game is going to work, I'm going to be asking Brett and Colton three questions, and then Bennett and Drew three questions. And then Drew and Bennett will be holding their answers up on notebook paper, and they obviously will not be able to see it. And then they're going to guess and see if they get it right. So first question, where did you meet your significant other? OK, Brett, what's your answer? Um, I'm going to have to go and like sixth grade in the industrial tech room or something. We had class together. That is correct. <laughs> Colton, it's where? Where did you meet Drew? Um, <laughs> at school. Great job. Oh, that, was, that was baloney. He didn't know what he was saying. He pulled that one out of his you know what. <laughs> All right, second question. What is your significant other's shoe size? <laughs> All right, Brett. Um, 13. <laughs> <sighs> it's 11 and a half, but you know, <laughs> close enough. Colton, what's your shoe size? Six. Six? Another point for Drew and Colton. They are now in the lead, in case you didn't realize that. <laughs> All right. When is your significant other's birthday? July 22nd, 1998. I was writing down his birthday one second, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold that answer, Colton. When is Drew's birthday? September. Wait a second. That is correct. <laughs> did he not get your no, birthday he right? He did. Oh, okay. They got theirs right, so they're still in the lead, which makes me upset. All right. Now you guys are going to switch places. Now I have some questions for Drew and Bennett. Right now the score is three to two. Shoe size. <laughs> All right. Our next question. What is your significant other's favorite sports team? What sport? Overall. All right, Bennett, what's Brett's favorite sports team? You know what, I'm just going to, I've got to go with the Chiefs on this one. <laughs> that is correct. Drew? Oklahoma City Thunder? That is also correct. Okay, he's wearing the shirt. <laughs> That's unfair advantage right there. This is a rigged game. And where they met, we met at school, but we... At school. <laughs> that's, very, that's very specific. School. School. All right, next question. Who said, I love you first? <laughs> that's cheating. All right, Drew, who said, I love you first? Colton. Good job. <laughs> Bennett, who said I love you first? It was me. It was me. I said it. <laughs> Good job. This is the final question. I believe the score is five to four. Come closer. Thank you. Ask a hard one. All right. I'm trying to find a hard one. Okay. 
Final question, who is their best friend? All right, Drew, who is Colton's best friend? Brett. It is Brett. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> who is Brett's best friend? Me. We're dating. That's, That's a lie. We're dating. So All right, that is the so end so of this huh? dating game you. show. So and Drew and Colton won. Yes. So congrats to you guys. All right, they need to get off the screen <laughs> because they obviously cheated and it was not a fair match. And I'm very upset with the outcome of this game. That's how I feel. Now, let's head back to the front desk. Thanks, guys. Let's head over to Hayden Ali and TJ Purcell for a presidential update. Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton. The 2016 presidential election was definitely one that we will remember. It all started over a year ago with primary debates from the Democratic and Republican parties. The race began wide and narrowed itself down to Republican candidate Donald Trump and Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton. With differing opinions, there was a strong sense of tension between the two candidates. In the end, Donald Trump won the presidential candidacy. Let's see what students have to say. What did you think about the election overall? Um, I was very pleased with the election results. I mean, I knew he was down in the polls initially, but we had our silent majority come in. Um, the media has been attacking Trump the whole time, which um, has really been make, causing people not to express their opinions publicly. So I think um, the polls weren't as accurate as they wanted them to be. I am here with Natalie Schaller, a Liberty High School senior who voted yesterday. Natalie, what can you tell us about the election results? Well, I can say that the results were definitely not shocking to me. I had predicted that Trump would win because he's made a series of classic political mistakes, yet the population still could not manage to let go of him. So I wasn't surprised, but I was upset with the results. Um, how did your overall experience go voting for your first time? I was incredibly excited to be voting for the first time. I was able to cast my vote for the first female president, or who I thought would be the first female president. Uh, it was an incredibly empowering and moving experience as a woman to be able to cast my ballot like that. That's awesome. Thank you. Looking forward, how do you think the next couple years are going to fill out as Donald Trump is president of the United States? Well, I think um, come January, we're going to see a lot of changes. Um, I know like his last couple weeks of, the, of his campaign, he laid out um, his contract with America. Um, one of the, the hot, um, hot issues with um, immigration, he's going to um, secure our border. Um, he's going to reform health care and make America great again. All right, so I'm here with Mr. Ludwig. So, Mr. Ludwig, what can you tell me about this election process? How has this been different from years past? Wow, that's all I can say. The polls, everybody pointed to Hillary as the winner. Polls were obviously wrong. The media certainly was pointing to Hillary. And then when the votes came in, we found uh, Donald was the winner. So obviously that was very surprising to, I mean, most Americans out there. And so how do you think, like, what, what, what all did he do to win over those swing states that really kind of pushed him towards the end there? Well, I think the, the Bradley effect, I think, was at play. I think there was a lot of people in the polls that would not admit that they were going to vote for Trump. I think some people honestly didn't know who they wanted to vote for at, at the last minute. Um, but I think certainly people... It wasn't politically correct to say that you were going to vote for Trump, and I think those voters turned out in the masses. I think the black vote didn't turn out as much as they did for Obama, and I think that hurt Hillary in the end as well. All right. Thank you. This has been TJ Purcell and Hayden Ali reporting from KLHS. Thanks, guys. Now here's a little something to honor the veterans of our country. Welcome to the flag raising ceremony for Veterans Day. I'm CJ Coots from Liberty High School and I'm part of Future Soldiers of America. I'm Jonathan Lawson from Liberty High School, part of the Future Soldiers of America. I'm Robert Hayden from Liberty High School, part of the Future Soldiers of America. Hi, my name is Kate Ranham. I attend at Liberty Middle School and I'm a flag assistant. Hi, my name is Robert Quasa. I attend at Liberty Middle School and I'm going to hand off the flag to the Future Soldiers of America.
These are me standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, guys, from Hannah Doherty, Hayden Ali, TJ Purcell, Bennett Swope, Brett Schweitzer, and all of our production crew. I'm Holly Stansberry. Have a great weekend, Jays.